Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The Euros and Copa America 2024 content is beginning today on FC24 with a brand new season, Festival of Football. That name might remind you of some good times of legendary content in the summers of old FIFAs, and I think EA is trying to kind of bring those vibes back for this year's game that needs it, right? We also have one last day of Ultimate Tots to cover. Will EA release the SBC that we want them to release? We're going to ask that question and talk about it today. Guys, there's a lot to cover. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content real quick. It's not going to take long because it was probably the worst day of content for Ultimate Tots just because there was not a lot that was dropped. We had eight end of an era SBC. They finally brought one back after skipping a day with Balm Pastor, but it's not an SBC that most are doing. Muniyayan end of an era card. It is 80, no, sorry, 60,000 coins for this SBC, which when you look at the card, there's 4-4 four, four with these stats. It just doesn't really look that worth it to most people, unless you're a La Liga fan. That's probably an SBC that you were going to be skipping, so it's not the best. We can cross our fingers and hope that we get one last good end of an era or flashback player today on Thursday. Now, we had one other SBC yesterday. We had the Serie A Tots Guaranteed, which was expected, of course. It was re-released, right? We had it last week on Wednesday. We got it again because that was, of course, EA's trend, right? One of the league SBCs released every single day, 90,000 coins. I tried to get Pulisic for one last time could not get him now this is something i do want to note because fodder is always moving on wednesdays and thursdays fodder is up right now 84s are 1.8k which is up a lot from what they've been recently like minimum price 85s are over 4,000 coins and 88s were above 10k fodder's definitely going to drop today people are going to open those rivals rewards take the tradable stuff and take one last opportunity to open packs tradable or untradable but probably a lot being tradable for the ultimate team of the season cards that are still in packs. So I think fodder is up, but it's probably going to be dropping today. Um, even though we did not get the one SBC that we were hoping to see yesterday that would have really moved fodder a lot more, the ultimate tots SBC, like where is it, man? It still could drop today, right? It's not like we're not getting it, but we were disappointed to not see that yesterday a little bit. We're just holding on for that hope that it could be released today guys because that pack like we talked about yesterday is in the code and that would be a nice way for ea to end off ultimate tots one last chance at those cards in a guaranteed pack so fingers crossed that it is today now speaking of ultimate tots i want to look at something in rewards for foot champs because this was something unexpected that we saw earlier yesterday that is making things honestly pretty hype for the continuation of foot champs after team of the season these are updated rewards and i'm still a little bit curious if they're going to stay this way after the new season resets today after rivals rewards and everything comes out because sometimes champs rewards change after that these rewards this is rank five it's basically the ultimate tots rewards with other player picks you get the 84 plus gold player picks they're back you get 94 plus ultimate tots picks still that are there and then you have the 85 times three and your normal 50 and 125 k pack now let's go up to rank three where it gets even better you've got three 84 plus player picks you've got two of the ultimate tots picks and then this is where you start to see some of the Euro and Copa America content. An 83.5 Top Euro Nations Pack, an 83.5 Copa America Nations Pack, an 85.3 Rare Goal Players Pack, and you still get the Ultimate Tots 3 Players Pack. Now, it is interesting to note that rank 3 and above, the Ultimate Tots 3 Players Packs in the previous week's rewards were all tradable, right? They are untradable as it sits right now. But these rewards seem crazy. Look at rank 1. You get three of the top euro nations 83.5 packs you get three of the 83.5 copa uh packs and an 87.3 still tradable and the ultimate tots three player pick along with the same ultimate tots one of five 94 pluses and then you get f uh, four of the 84 pluses so rewards still look insane with the ultimate tots cards being in rewards i am not going to be buying any of these cards i know that it's technically no tradable supply since those packs um, are untradable like the three player packs but with these cards being chased after in rewards again it looks like this week i really don't want to invest in them with new cards coming out with being live right the path of glory cards and the greats of the game icons and heroes 
These cards dropped a lot yesterday, and it kind of makes sense why, because they're still playable for in rewards, and especially with how good the rewards were for most people this past week, it's going to be great to play for those cards again. Hopefully, those rewards are the ones that stay. They almost seem too good to be true. Um... But we'll have to see what happens today after the new season is released. But that's one of the biggest pieces of news from yesterday. We like the Ultimate Taz rewards, right? Now we get even more chances at those. At least one more chance with the rewards this next week. So that is a dub. I also want to mention this. With the new season coming out today... Um, they might change the time frame of foot champs back to being one day shorter so that it ends on Tuesday instead of Wednesday morning. I just want to prepare you guys mentally for that because that happened last year in the summer. It was extended for team of the season and then they changed the time frame of champs back to normal after tots. I wanted to just say that because it, I think it's actually possible they might do that today even though we've liked this extended time frame for champs. It may not stay that way. So that is something uh, that not a lot of people are talking about that I did want to mention. Now, let's get into the details of the new season today, guys, because this is the big stuff. And obviously, a lot of you watching this video, you will already see it out. But I want to go through some things that are going to impact the game today after it's dropped and even after content. So we're all referencing this pitch notes page we mentioned it in yesterday's video because ea liked to release these pitch note update files and articles with big updates like this and they did it i wasn't necessarily expecting this yesterday but they went out and dropped it there's a whole lot in here guys we're gonna go over it very quickly because we went in depth on it on the second channel if you want to take a look there we went through everything and how it's going to impact the game and kind of we're absorbing all this content at one time but just kind of a high tier or a high level outline for stuff that's going to be added to the game today with the new season this euro 2024 mode not a whole lot to talk about here it's probably going to be just like the world cup mode in fifa 23 it's cool right for basically you know some of the kits and the you know kind of like the tournament aspect of it if you're really into that you can go do that the lead your nation create a new player that sounds kind of fun create your own player and lead your nation to victory in uefa euro 2024 that sounds pretty cool um, but it sounds very, very similar to the World Cup mode. There's online friendlies in it as well. This, though, is a bit different. Different, And I want to mention this. The European journey. And the reason this matters is because there's rewards from this mode that tie into Ultimate Team. As you can see, the final, it's all about the journey and reward, says the journey's final reward will be revealed in July. But it's an Ultimate Team reward. And if you watch this video that is posted below it, in, inside of this journey, there are Ultimate Team rewards along the way like one of the first thing is ultimate team reward one i can't imagine these are going to be really insane rewards but it's worth paying attention to because shoot if this is like an 85 times 10 or something at the very end of this maybe we're dreaming about how good of a pack they would give out for like free or whatever from that but that would be something worth doing maybe a little bit of fun and um you know you would think ea would want to drive some traffic to this your euros mode so maybe they will put a couple decent packs in there but that is something that um is kind of interesting there's like a little bit of a cross play there between this kickoff mode and ultimate team now some of the other things that are going to be added to the game today guys is the cold palmer celebration now it's going to be added to the game today but i don't know if we'll be able to unlock it today because as you can see in the fine print it says that this celebration can be executed with cole palmer in kickoff career and ultimate team modes for those looking to add this celebration to any player it can be unlocked in season seven festival of football ladder so it'll be one of the levels inside of season progress today with this new season season dropping that we will be able to unlock the cold palmer celebration there's also a new skill move which is very similar to La croqueta and they show Vinny here doing it it looks like a La croqueta with one foot and a little bit faster um, of course he's megan gavardiol in the little video that they show but that is not dropping today this said they said this edition comes later in the calendar but it's worth the wait blah 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 so that is coming later um not today now one thing i do want to mention a couple of small things here this is going to be like a title update as well right like these pitch notes or whatever we're gonna have to download something today there's going to be some new star heads involved um and it is going to be a download right especially maybe a little bit of a bigger one because it's got the whole uefa euro 2024 mode right inside of it with all the authentic vibrant atmosphere that they're talking about and all that jazz there so watch out for a update like a physical update to the game itself 
Now let's get to the good stuff, right? Not all of this we're going to see today, though. So I want to talk about it just a little bit because some of this is news that we need to cover, but a lot of it's going to be kind of relevant to tomorrow on Friday when Path to Glory drops, right? Festival football is a season name, but these Path to Glory cards, even though there's a loading screen and they're in the menus, and actually the card design is now in the menus as well. I just searched a minute ago and I saw it. Yeah, right there. Your UEFA Euro Path to Glory. Um, I think the greats of the game, yeah, the icon and the hero design are also here, as well as the Copa America Path to Glory. EA's been adding all these cards into the back end of the code of the game, um, and a lot of them are probably going to so show up in searches, but I don't actually think we're going to see many. We could see them in the season today. That's the only place where I think we could see them, but I digress. Let's talk about the good stuff here at a high level really quickly. Path to Glory Live Upgrade Path. We've had a lot of leaks for icons, the players that are going to be in that, and how they're going to upgrade. This was our first leak and our first knowledge for the actual PTG cards. Very similar to a road to the final type upgrade, right? A lot of players are going to win one game. A lot of countries are going to win one game in the Euros. They're going to get a simple plus one. These upgrades, I believe, go for Copa America as well. The same sort of path. But win one game plus one overall. Win three games is one play style plus. And we were doing a little bit of research yesterday in the stream. Some guys in the chat were. And they were noting that not very many nations actually end up winning three games. If you think about it, right? You've got the group stage games, which is three. And then beyond that, you're into the knockout. So... It's not going to be a lot of people that get three wins, but those that do will get plus one playstyle plus, which is where we think the fourth playstyle pluses will be on cards. Maybe for the first time, maybe not, but this is probably still, if you think about it, I mean, the games start for the Euros on the 14th, right? So three wins, you know, with the games being played, we're probably talking the last week of June, maybe just before that. For the first four playstyle plus cards based off of this if there aren't any released in packs in some other sort of uh place on this game you usually that's how they do it right the cards and packs get them so we they want us to chase those and try to open packs to get those and then the other ones get updated after that so we'll have to see but that's when we could get our first three play or four playstyle plus cards there if you win the quarterfinal plus one overall win the semifinal, you get five star five star or plus one overall so i believe it's if you're already five five you get the plus one i believe even in the menus that's how it is shown in the little graphic there and if you win the final you get a plus one overall so a player who is 95 or 96 rated could potentially get to a 99 rated card if they're 95 rated and they're already five five they get that extra extra plus one to go to 99. Other than that, it's a 96 rated card. That could be one of the first 99 overall cards in FC 24. We saw this in FIFA 21 with the Roberto Firmino card. He went to 91 rated when Brazil um, went really, really far in Copa America. So that's some of that same stuff could happen again today. But once again, these are not cards that we're seeing in the game today, guys, right? Uh, this is just the first promo of the season. This is coming out tomorrow on friday and i think these icons are going to come out tomorrow on friday as well and this confirms the leaks that we had for the upgrades two goals one plus one overall and four goals for the nation is a playstyle plus or a 99 overall some of these icons potentially could have four playstyle pluses before the path to glory cards these also seem like they're dropping on friday and we think we know how it's going to go guys with the uh, euro games starting before the Copa America games, it seems like, especially with some of the leaked icons that we have, the new ones, right? It seems like they might be putting the uh, Euros cards in packs this Friday, the Euro Path to Glories, these green and multicolored cards for the Euros, right? Those might be this Friday along with the Euros icons and heroes, and then maybe next Friday would be Copa America. That's just a thought. We might have more leaks, more news on that, but that's just our imagination right now, thinking kind of calendar-wise. They want these cards to be in packs before the promotions or before the actual competitions start, right? Because they're live cards. They want people to get them ahead of time and then you know invest or whatever that's how the live card promos usually work anyway so with that being said let's look a little bit into some of the leaks that we have because there's a lot of leaks right we saw dina tale we saw rivaldo we've got balak who is leaked he's going to be representing germany kenny dog leash is coming as a greatest of the game uh yo that's that's a card who's needed a special version 100 percent 
He was, of course, very popular earlier on this year with the Thunderstruck card. We were talking about that in the stream yesterday as well. That's going to be a really, really good card. And Forlan is one of the most recent leaks. Of course, a Copa America, um, of course, upgrading card. As they just beat Mexico in a friendly 4-0. Uruguay did, like, literally 20 minutes ago. But this card is coming back as a great of the game hero. couple new names leaked as well. Pushkas. Wow. Pushkas is getting another card. He's going to be, I mean, 98 rated is probably about too high. I mean, think about it. They get a plus one overall and then plus one play style or a 99 overall boost for a face stat. I mean, I don't know how high Pushkas is going to be rated, but he might be super high rated because he's already got a couple of really high rated cards. That's a big name that is leaked. Haji has been leaked as well as... Vidic. Vidic is getting a card representing Serbia for the Euros. I think there's even a couple more leaks as well, like Luis Hernandez has been leaked. Um, uh, Kuman has been leaked. He's going to be the Dutch icon that's going to be upgrading. So, you know, it seems like they're not going all out with some of the players that they're choosing for the, some of these specific nations. Captavia is getting a card. He's going to be representing Spain for the upgrades there. We talked about Haji. Luis Hernandez, El Matador is going to be getting a card for Mexico. Um, so there's got to be some more icons still leaked. Uh, we looked at Petit last night. There's got to be a few more leaks still. Uh, but it definitely seems like they're not doing a Zidane, right, for the French. They're not doing even like Boutra, Gueno, or Raul for Spanish. They're doing Captivia, you know. Um, Kuman, you know, there was Hullet, there was Cruyff. There were opportunities there for like the big name players. It looks like they're opting to some of the middle tier cards for the icons in terms of hype. Still good players and could be very good with the upgrades, but not those top tier main ticket players. Maybe there's something else with icons coming down the line. Maybe they're thinking ahead for footies. Who knows? But those are the leaks that we have right now. One last thing about this page that EA dropped yesterday that I want to mention is the new loan types. We talked about this in yesterday's video with the Neymar card, right? With the World Cup cards we had in FIBA 23, those red versions, right? It's going to be similar, it sounds like but different at the same time. These global loans, right, that they're mentioning here uh, at the bottom. And this is really interesting because they're actually going to give us a, a global loan player of a Path to Glory card. As it says here, when you log into Ultimate Team during Path to Glory, you'll receive a global loan of a Path to Glory player that will help give your squad an international boost. And a global loan is somebody who is basically on a set time and date going to disappear so it's going to be a promo card one of the new path to glory promo cards ea is literally going to drop a guaranteed path to glory pack on friday that's going to be a global loan so you'll own the card and it'll work as a normal card as a normal one right like the exact same stats exact same whatever it'll be a brand new promo item that will be alive and upgrading as well but you just won't completely own it forever you will own it until the timer reaches zero and those global loans are going to expire on July 18th. So that's really interesting that EA is giving out a promo card, but then that promo card is going to disappear. But it doesn't disappear for over a month. So is that going to actually impact the prices of the Path to Glories on the market? Because people will be like, ah, I don't need to buy this Path to Glory because I already have him as a global loan. And for right now, I don't need to care about that because, you know, I just got him. He's new. And he works in my team and I can use him right now. You know what you know what I mean? So that's going to be a really interesting to see tomorrow how that impacts the market. We'll unpack that as we get more information today and talk about that more then. But that is one thing I did want to mention. And as we talk about some of these car designs and stuff's being added to the code, we now know what these Academy cards are. The Copa America Festival of Football Academy and the UEFA Euro Festival of Football Academy. Because this pack was added to the code yesterday, which should remind you of the Future Stars Academy. And this is the description of the pack. It contains seven Festival of Football Academy attackers, all items untradeable. That should ring a bell because what it will remind you of are those Future Star Academy cards that we had back earlier in um, this year during Future Stars. I'm trying to find Jesus Freda. I've got an insane F Jesus Freda card, but... Uh, he was one of the cards and one of the players that got one of these right here. The 82 rated cards. Sergio Gomez had one as well. Athenia had one for the Women's Real Madrid team. Um, these cards right here, it's going to be something like this, where they're going to give us all the same seven players, and then we're going to be able to evolve them. I don't know if that comes out today or if that is going to be something that comes out on Promo Friday for 
uh, the P Path to Glory promo. It could be either or because it's called the Festival of Football Academy Attackers Pack. There's a hunch from my side it could be today, but that also would be an Evo like we saw during Future Stars that would be dropped on a Friday. So uh, today also with the season release, I'm really interested to see what other cards we get. Are the Make Your Mark and the Make Your Mark Plus cards or the even the International Stars going to be a part of the season today? Since EA, like if you go on Foot Scoreboards, Twitter, you can see like they added all these card designs with the incorrect names. Foot VIP? No, that card design right there is the UEFA Euro International Stars. So they're adding these to the code though, right? There's a couple of those uh, academy cards right there. There's the icon and all that jazz. Is, as we just looked in game as well, they're starting to show up. So I'm interested to see what all gets released in the season today. Now, what else is happening today on Thursday, the last day of Ultimate Tots? We're talking Euros and all this. But we have one day of Ultimate Tots left. Of course, as we already mentioned, the Ultimate Tots guaranteed needs to drop today. Please, EA Sports, drop that SBC. Let us have the chance. Like, literally, why not? I mean, Ultimate Tots has been... Um, a tick up in terms of the content for sure. But why not let us have a chance at Jude Bellingham, at Vinicius Jr., at Harry Kane for myself, right? The Messi, the Ronaldo. Give us a shot at these cards one last time before they go out of packs, although they'll still be in rewards. So it technically won't be the last shot. But we just we just ask EA to drop it, right? Please just let us have fun and do that SBC. Some other Euros and Path to Glory type of content, maybe a daily login. We had that during Team of the Season, so we're expecting that sort of thing to come today on a, uh, Thursday because that's been, you know, the norm. But also, it, there's probably going to be some things from Team of the Season that were normal that end for the start of the Euros. Maybe we don't get a daily login. Maybe we don't get a new cup today, right? Because we were getting cups every single Thursday, every single week. That might stop today. But hopefully we get one last good end of an era card. I mean, again, it's it's toned back a little bit. We started great with Royce, and with some of those other end of an eras like Thiago Silva and even Felipe Anderson was really good. We've gone backwards, right? Martial was okay. Nacho was pretty good. And Thiago was just, you know, fun, right? I'm going to do Thiago for the links in the team for VVD and, and for fun. But one last, even if it's an expensive one, give us a good one to be able to grind and craft today on this game. That would be super duper nice. And then market wise, guys, I want to talk about that a little bit. Um, I'm being very careful with flips at the moment. I've got basically all of my coins liquid. I sold the Harry Canes for like 140k profit between the two of those. And I sold some of the fodder that I had as well. Right now, I don't have much on my transfer list. Just some random fodder that I should probably try to send to the club that would help me do SBCs. But um, I really don't have any of my coins invested at the moment because... There was a lot of market crashing that happened yesterday, and with the whole Euros content and everything that's coming out with the new season today, I, I wouldn't be surprised if um, some of that continues. But on the flip side, I think there also will be good opportunities to trade and to flip cards. Like Messi was under 3 mil. He's 3.08 right now. Um, there are still a lot of people that are playing weekend league qualifiers today. Actually, today's going to be a really big day of weekend league qualifiers because most times when there's a new season that comes out, people do not play their qualifier games until after the new season is released because if you play them before and don't finish them, your progress gets reset. So there actually could be a good opportunity to be trading today. Um, it just seems like the market is starting to, honestly, it was a little bit of panic yesterday. Like um, Puteas went from 1.8 down to 1.6, under 1.6 mil. It just seems like people are a little bit scared to buy cards. Yeah, she's still down, 1.7 flat. A little more scared to buy cards because of what is upcoming. Oh my gosh, Neymar is 7.4 mil. He was 8.9 mil and oh my, he is down like crazy he might have some good fluctuations today that if you time it right you could trade with stuff um but i would just be careful flipping any of these cards this kdb though a one mil open bid that's an easy 50k profit he's like 1.1 you know what i'm gonna have to try to bid on that real quick yeah one mil flat for kdb let's try to make a quick flip out of that that's the sort of flipping you could do right now in this game for mino was like 390 yesterday he's really rare he could go up a little bit he's 415 if that one sells he's like 430 so Maybe you look at the rare cards on any budget, high tier or low tier, but I'm always really careful and I don't want to spend too many coins, especially heading into a big week like this, especially with live cards and new heroes and icons coming out. I still think that some cards on the market are overpriced as well with ultimate tots being as cheap as they are. I don't want to buy any of those cards just yet, but on Friday, they could end up being a good buy if the promo if there's like you know something that doesn't deliver and if it's not hype if the new cards come out and they're crazy expensive and not packable at all some of these could rebound as they go out of packs 
that is one thing I want to mention, but I'm not investing in them right now. That'll be a decision that we make probably on Friday. But get out there and flip it if you want to, because there's gameplay demand today. We're going to try to sell this De Bruyne for like 1.1 mil, maybe a little more than that if we get lucky. And yeah, guys, I think that's the video for today. It's a big day for the season rewards. It's a big day. Watch for leaks as well. They did drop a loading screen yesterday, which is the exact same thing that is here over the SBC section. We'll see if we get any other news. And we don't have any Path to Glory players leaked yet. It's crazy that we have so many heroes and icons, but we have no actual Path to Glory players. So it'll be interesting to see if we get just Euros cards or if we get Copa Americas. But... I'm yapping at this point, guys. If you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. Check out the second channel if you want a more deep dive into these pitch notes from yesterday. And I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today for one last day of Ultimate Tots, where I will be ripping one big pack and for some Euros content as well for Festival of Football. I will catch you guys there today. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll see you there. Peace. Out.